In one of our previous tutorials, we have seen how to send an email based on the IoT data. So we were directly interfacing the SNS service of AWS with our IoT core. Uh, the drawback there is the email, it will be containing a JSON object. But if you want to have a properly formatted email, we will have to do it through AWS Lambda through the Boto3 client. Okay. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen how to use uh, DynamoDB from Lambda. So I am continuing from the same code. So our aim is to send an email whenever the temperature value uh, crosses a particular threshold, let's say uh, 45 degree. Okay. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to the SNS console and you need to create a topic there. So let's create a topic here. So let me say DynamoDB temperature. You can give whatever name you want to the topic and say create topic. These steps we have seen before. So he creates the topic and let's take this error number from here. Now let's go and create the subscription. You need to give that error number here. And protocol, our plan is to send an email, a plain email. So let's choose this one, email. And you need to give the mail ID. So create subscription and you will get an email from AWS and you need to confirm subscription. Okay, so now whenever a message comes to SNS on the topic DynamoDB temperature, that data will be emailed to the email addresses which have subscribed to this topic. So as of now, we have put only one email ID. You can put any number of email IDs. So all of them will get the email. So that's all you need to do from SNS. So let's come back to Lambda. So here, the same way we created a Boto client for DynamoDB, now we will have to create a client for SNS. Same step. So our condition is we want to send an email only when temperature crosses 45 degrees. Okay, so if event temperature when it becomes more than 45, then only we will create this client. So we can copy the same line and instead of DynamoDB client, we can create an SNS client. So again, we can go to the Boto3 documentation and under SNS, you will find all the functions. So we are using this client function and the one we are interested in is this one, publish. So if you want to send any message to email or SMS to a phone number, you need to use this method. So this is the syntax for publishing. So let's take that entire syntax and put here and modify whatever is required. Okay, response client dot, you can give any number, name, okay? Uh, client, there is nothing special to this name. You can give whatever name you want. The one thing that you need to give is the ARN of the topic. So that we already have uh, from our SNS. So under topic, this is the ARN. So we take that, we give that here. Target ARN. Okay, so you have to either give this topic ARN and target ARN. These things are relevant when you are using other services other than email. If you are using a SMS service, you need to give the phone number here. So all this we can remove for plain email. Here you can give the body of the email that you need. So let's say like temperature exceed at 45 degrees Celsius and let's say the actual temperature also okay oh, let me modify it warning temperature is this should be a string so let's concatenate string of event of temperature Let's also tell the time when this actually happened. So that information we already have, event of timestamp, give me the time, right? Let's say at. 
okay so that's it so subject okay whenever you get an email that subject line you can give here let's say like temperature warning enough now all these other parameters they are not relevant to sending an email so we can safely remove all of them okay so the only thing you need to provide is the topic arn the message and subject even subject is optional but let's give the subject that's it this should work okay now let's test so we already have the test event here temperature is 25 so it should not trigger the email let's save and test it So he's saying successfully completed when we come to our DynamoDB. That item is entered here, but I didn't get any email because the temperature didn't exceed. So now let's change our event and put 50 degree here. Test. And this time you will get an error. So the error is basically saying, uh, similar to our DynamoDB, initially what happened, you are not authorized to perform SNS publish. So the particular role that we are currently using, it doesn't have access, it is not authorized to access SNS. So we need to change the policies attached with our role. Okay. So our role is this one, my Lambda DynamoDB role. So we need to go to the IAM service now. And under roles, you can see that role, this one. And the only policy attached here is the full access to DynamoDB. So we need to attach the policy for accessing SNS. So we go and choose attach policies and search for SNS here. Again, for the time being, let's give full access to SNS. Actually, we need only publish access, but let's give full access and say attach policy. And now you can see your role has access to both SNS as well as DynamoDB. Let's come back here and let's test again. And this time he is happy, everything worked. If I come here, refresh, I already got the notification. You can see the subject line is temperature warning and the content is warning temperature is 50 at timestamp. Let's put one space there. Okay, so that completes this part. Now when you test your code, uh, have a look at the memory and the time taken by the code now. It has increased now. You can see it scrolls to 500 milliseconds now. And the memory utilization is 73 MB. It is still less than what we have set here. And whenever they exceed the values that we set here, you need to modify it. We have put 3 seconds and 128 MB. Okay. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Just have a try. Same way you can try SMS also. You have to create a topic there. And when you publish, you have to give the phone number as well as the message. Uh, that's it. But keep in mind, SMS, they are not free. Uh, there is no free SMS limit. Every SMS will be charged. Thank you.